guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve this beautiful Christmas look. So if you wanna know how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. And as always, don't forget to shine bright because it's so Hollywood time. <laughs> start by priming my eyelids and I'm going to be using the P. Louise base in 0.5. I'm going in with packing motions and once I get to the brow I like to just sort of outline the brow. So I'm going to go ahead and place some tape onto my eyelid to give me a nice crisp line. So like I mentioned in my last video I like to kind of place it in the back of my hand to take some of that stickiness away. And then we're basically going to outline it under our lash line. Perfect. For today's look, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hale palette. So this baby right here, and then this is what the inside looks like. Super pretty. So to start off, I'm going to start by using this dark green into the crease. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M412 blending brush and we're going to go in with that green right into the crease. I'm next going to go ahead and just clean my brush in a little towel. And with the clean brush, I'm just going to blend out the front. I'm next going to take the nice teal color right here. And with the same M412 brush, which is already cleaned, we're going to use that and start to blend this right up here, right on top of that green that we applied. So now I'm going to go back into that deep green shade that we used first and I'm going to grab the same brush and I'm just going to intensify this a little bit more. So I think I really like the way that it's looking. So I'm going to clean off my brush once again and I'm basically just using a little towel where I'm just making sure the color is nicely out of the brush. And with the clean brush, I'm just going to blend this up here. I'm next going to cut the crease. Um, I'm going to do more like a half cut crease. So we're going to be using the P. Louise base in 0.5 once again. The brush that I'm using is this little guy right here, which I've mentioned so many times on my channel. This is just from shopmissade.com, and I also have a little bit of that base in the back of my hand. So we're just gonna start to cut the crease. Definitely take your time with this. So we're gonna do like a half cut crease. So I like to start from the bottom here and then work my way out. So I'm pretty happy with this shape right here. So now we're going to go back into that Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to go ahead and grab this nice champagne color right here, the second one. And I'm going to start off with this brush right here. This is the e.l.f. Small Precision Brush. I like to start off with a small brush because it gives me the most control. That way I make sure I don't get any of this shade up here. Once I have the color placed right on the outer edge, I'm going to move on to this e.l.f. concealer brush. Basically it's just a flat um, brush. So I'm going to take some of that same pigment, which is just this second shade right here that I'm talking about. So this guy right here. And I'm just going to start to fill it in. 
I'm next taking my Morphe M411 brush. This is a small tapered blending brush and I'm going to go in with a little bit of the teal color that we used earlier and with just a very little amount I'm going to apply this right at the edge here and slightly start to bring it forward into the cream color. So this is basically going to start the blending process that way we don't have any brush lines. So once we have that blended, I'm going to take my Morphe M412 brush and I'm going to go ahead and put some of that green that we used earlier right in this outer corner. And then with the M411 brush, we're going to go back into the teal and merge these two colors together. So I am going to go back into my cream shade, this, this one right here, and I'm going to add just a tiny bit to the brow bone. And then I'm going to blend it out. So you want to make sure that the brush that you're using is clean, um, especially if you are going to be using the same brushes. So once again, I'm going to be using my M412 brush by Morphe, and I'm just going to blend this up here ever so slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and I'll pop up some lashes and I'll be right back to show you the base. Alright you guys, so I recently finished the other eye, um, I added some mascara and I'm going to put my lashes after my mascara dries, but for the face we are going to be priming with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I've really been loving this primer and I feel like I'm not one to really love primers because I feel like sometimes they don't really work or on me. But for some reason, I feel like when I put this one on, I have smoother skin. For foundation, I have a little sample here of the MAC Studio Fix in shade C4. So I'm going to try this one out. Okay, so the foundation I actually really like. It looks really good. And I did pop on some lashes, so these are just the 48s by MAC. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand as my concealer or slash highlight. So we're going to be applying this um, under the eyes, a little bit on the sides of the nose. Bridge of the nose, up here and down here. So I'm using this targeted blending brush by Real Techniques to blend it out. I actually really like this. So that's what we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way powder for under the eyes. And whatever's left over, I like to just kind of add to the chin and basically the T-zone area. For the rest of my skin, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals um, Mineral Veil in Original. So I'm going to be using the Hula Bronzer to contour slash bronze my face. So for blush, we're using Gleeful by MAC. So this blush is like my favorite so far. I feel like it's super pigmented. It's very like reddish tone, but I really like it. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Highlight in Ice Cold. This is the Skin Frost. I'm going to be using this Morphe M168 brush, it's super tiny, and I'm going to be using this for the inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of uh, Skin Frost in Ice Cold to the inner corner. I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Deja Blue Eyeliner for the waterline. And with that same M168 brush from Morphe, we are going to go into 
this color right here, the green one that we used, and apply this to the lower lash line. So I have to go off camera for this because I know I'm going to be out of focus, but I'll be right back. I'm going to be taking this M578 brush, it's so good, and I'm going to be using this to diffuse a little bit of that teal color right under the green, under the lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera, and then I'll be right back to show you the finished look and to see what lip I use. Okay guys, so basically I already went ahead and I added a little bit of mascara to my lower lash lines, and I also did my brows. So now for the lips, I'm going to go in with this MAC Lip Pencil. This is in Honey Pecan. And I'm just going to go ahead and just line my lips a little bit. So to finish off the lips, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Buxom White Russian Gloss. Oh my god, this gloss is amazing. And look at this. It's so cute. It has a little diamond on top. But I love this gloss. So we're just going to top off the lips with this. Alright you guys, so that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful Christmas look. And if you were afraid this look, please tag me. I would love to see your looks. And of course, don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe if you haven't already so you can be part of my Hollywood family. And I'll see you in my next video.